The OptiTherm thermostatic tap from Horn. The optimum in safety and control and winner of the Best Interiors Product category at the Building Better Healthcare Awards. Since 1909, Horn has been involved in the design, development and manufacture of thermostatic control valves. There is a direct line of design evolution from the early 1920s when we developed the very first blending valves, now referred to as thermostatic mixing valves, to our latest development, the OptiTherm, a combined thermostatic mixing valve and medical tap. The design brief for the OptiTherm was considered from every perspective. It must be easy to operate, easy to clean and easy to maintain. Strict adherence was paid to all the healthcare regulations. In the development of the OptiTherm, we believe we have achieved the optimum in safety and control. Installation and maintenance of the OptiTherm is extremely easy. The spigot can be supplied in advance of the tap body if a phased installation is required. Connections are made with soft PEX braided hoses or by compression fitting to copper pipe. When any maintenance is due, there is no need for access behind the wall panel. Isolation of the water supplies and access to the strainers, check valves and internal thermostatic mechanism is easily achieved from within the room or ward. Isolate the hot and cold water supplies by means of the integral ball valves accessed underneath the tap spigot. Open the levers and allow residual water to drain. Remove the tap's bottom cover using a strap wrench. The strainer and check valve cartridges for the hot and cold supplies are removed using a 12mm hex key. Dirt collects on the inside of the strainer basket, protecting the check valve and the thermostatic control mechanism. The strainer baskets are removable for cleaning purposes. Note that the hot and cold strainer and check valve cartridges are not interchangeable. Use the 12mm hex key to remove the cover of the thermostatic cartridge. Screw in the thermostatic cartridge removal tool, then pull downwards to release the cartridge. A new cartridge can be inserted into the tap body from below. Replace the cartridge cover with the 12mm hex key. Insert a 4mm hex key into the cartridge cover and rotate clockwise to reduce the mixed water temperature and anti-clockwise to increase the mixed water temperature. Replace the bottom cover cap and tighten using the strap wrench. Open the hot and cold water supplies. Scotland's Water Bylaws of 2000 and BS 6700-1997 for England and Wales state that the hot and cold water supplies must be flushed at full bore to remove any debris that may have collected in the pipework. The flushing kit allows the system to be flushed at full velocity and ensures that no debris will enter the mixing valve and cause damage to the mechanism. Periodic flushing of the system will also help to remove biofilm from the pipework. The wall panel need not be accessed for system flushing. Isolate the hot and cold water supplies by means of the integral ball valves accessed underneath the tap spigot. Open the levers and allow residual water to drain. Remove the tap's bottom cover using a strap wrench. Remove the cold water supply strainer and check valve cartridge using a 12mm hex key. Insert the flushing adapter into the void with an 8mm hex key. Ensure the hose is securely attached to the flushing adapter and that the open end hangs down into the basin or bath. Open the cold water supply at the spigot and allow water to flush through the valve and to drain. Anticipate a large surge of water passing through the valve and down the drain. When the water runs clear, isolate the cold water supply at the spigot. Remove the flushing adapter and replace the strainer and check valve cartridge. Repeat this procedure for flushing the hot water supply pipework, taking care to avoid scalding. The flushing adapters can also be used for hot and cold water supply sample collection and to check the temperature of the water supplies. Replace the bottom cover cap and tighten using the strap wrench. Reopen the hot and cold water supplies. 
The OptiTherm tap is available with dual levers or short levers as required. Two alternative extension pieces are available to correctly position the tap to accommodate for a range of basin sizes. To remove the OptiTherm from the spigot, isolate the hot and cold water supplies by means of the integral ball valves accessed underneath the tap spigot. Open the levers and allow residual water to drain. Remove the tap's bottom cover using a strap wrench. Loosen the tap retaining screw until the head is just proud of the bottom of the tap body. Pull the optitherm away from the panel horizontally until it is free of the spigot. Rotate the tap to allow residual water to pour out into the basin. If maintenance is required, the tap can be taken to the workshop for examination. A replacement can be fitted and commissioned ready for use in a matter of minutes, minimising downtime of the wash station. The single short lever variant of the OptiTherm is suitable for installing over a bath. Unscrew the four M5 screws and washers to release the existing extension piece from the spigot. A tap can be installed without an extension piece. Offer the longer extension piece up to the tap spigot, making sure the interconnect nozzles are correctly positioned. Secure the extension piece with the four M5 screws and washers. Offer the tap body up to the extended spigot and locate it firmly. Tighten the retaining screw from below. Replace the bottom cover cap and tighten using the strap wrench. Reopen the hot and cold water supplies. The proper commissioning procedures must be followed prior to usage. The entire surface of the tap is fully accessible for complete and effective cleaning. We have designed out dirt traps and the surface is continuously smooth to allow for thorough and effective cleaning, which will aid the fight against hospital-acquired infection. The accurate temperature control, regulated flow rate and the innovative on-off dual lever of the OptiTherm provides an environment that is conducive to good hand hygiene practices and reducing infection rates. For hand washing, turn the hot lever on by pressing down on the short lever with the pad of the thumb. Wash hands according to best practice hand decontamination guidelines, such as those provided in the EPIC2 publication. To avoid recontamination of the hands after washing, Turn the tap off by returning the long lever to the upright position using an elbow in a horizontal orientation. A cold water bypass of the thermostatic mechanism provides cold water for hand wash, drinking and teeth cleaning. Turn the cold lever on by pushing down on the short lever. Allow the water to run cold before filling a glass. The OptiTherm's thermostatic performance is highly accurate, stable and reliable. This performance test data shows how the mixed water temperature gradually increases until the set temperature is reached. There is no sharp spike in temperature, called a cold start transient, which can be a disincentive to hand washing. The health guidance note, Safe Hot Water and Surface Temperatures, recommends that no surface within 2 metres of floor level should exceed 42 degrees centigrade. This thermal image shows the OptiTherm thermostatic tap in use. The parameters at the time were hot supply temperature, 60 degrees centigrade, cold supply temperature, 17 degrees centigrade, mixed water temperature, 41 degrees centigrade. The scale on the right shows the temperature of the tap surface, which even at the hottest point, remains safely below 42 degrees centigrade. The OptiTherm is designed with sustainability in mind. At the end of its life, the materials can be easily separated for recycling. The OptiTherm thermostatic tap from Horn winner of the award for Best Interiors Product at the Building Better Healthcare Awards and the Optimum in Safety and Control.